Hey friends and welcome back to a brand new video. How are you all doing today? I hope you guys all had a wonderful week and you made it to Friday. Thank goodness for that. It was definitely a very long, long week over here in the typically Katie household. So we're almost to the weekend, but thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you guys are new here, welcome. I am Katie. I do a lot of cleaning motivation, home decor, putting out a lot of fall content right now, and a lot of really exciting videos coming up. I love homemaking and lifestyle, so I love being able to open up my home and share a little bit of that with you guys here on my channel. So I hope you guys will consider subscribing today if you guys haven't done so already, but we're going to go ahead and dive right in into today's video. We are downstairs starting in the kitchen today. And as you can see, I just loaded up my dishwasher with the dishes that were just sitting in the sink. And, and my sink is actually very overdue getting clean. So I'm just using some of this Dawn Power Wash with my scrub brush. It's my favorite thing to use in my sink next to Barkeeper's Friend. I feel like I share that all the time, but I figured this was a good place to start in today's video. Um, I feel like I've been sharing a lot of makeovers and organizing and fall content lately i thought why not go ahead and do a good old-fashioned cleaning video there's so much to do around this house today we're gonna start downstairs and then we will be moving upstairs and doing a lot of deep cleaning and decluttering up there so if you guys need motivation today make sure you guys stick around until the very end because i kind of start with lighter cleaning here downstairs and then as the video progresses we really get into the nitty gritty of things I am currently still decorating for fall, but as you can see, my kitchen is all decked out for fall. And then as we move on in this video, you'll see my main living areas are all decorated for fall. And I will have those videos linked down below in case you wanted to head over and enjoy those as well. But I'm not quite done yet. I want to decorate my bedroom and the downstairs bathroom this year, as well as do a really beautiful tablescape here on my dining room table. I think I'm hosting Thanksgiving this year, so I wanna come up with something that's just really festive and fun. Um, so make sure you guys stick around for those upcoming videos, but until then, I will have those other fall inspired videos just below in the description box for you to enjoy. I'm also so excited to share a new friend of mine and her name is April and her YouTube channel is April at home. So we decided to collaborate on today's video. We have very similar channels and I just love her cleaning content and her decor. Just her house is absolutely beautiful and she has the most beautiful accent. She is such a Southern belle. So I will have April linked down below if you guys want to go check out a new channel. I know I'm always looking for new people to enjoy and April has such an amazing channel. I don't know how she doesn't have 100,000 subscribers yet, but if you guys head over, make sure you show April some love. Tell her you came over from my channel. And if you guys are here from April's channel, welcome. And I will introduce myself a little later in today's video. I love keeping it real with you guys and this is just what was going on in my day today. So I sometimes will start filming and then have to stop and go run errands or do appointments or in this particular case I had to pause and go get my kids from school. So they came home and we were emptying out their backpacks and their lunch pails and there was quite the mess in Colton's bag. I had packed them smoothies and I guess he didn't put the lid on all the way. So. Um, he was actually washing that in the background of this video. He is so sweet, but I'm definitely momming as I'm doing these videos. Um, I do have to stop what I'm doing to make them lunch and, you know, just do the mom thing. So a lot of that stuff you don't see behind the scenes, but it is happening. 
Um, I have a 10 year old and an eight year old and they are back in school this fall. So I try and do as much cleaning and stuff around the house as possible while they're at school, but sometimes life happens and I'm just not able to do it all. So multitasking has definitely become something that I have to balance in this house, even though that I don't have small little babies anymore. Thank you for all the love on my fall decor videos. I shared that I enjoy making those. I love decorating and making my home feel warm and cozy and just give all the feels of the season. And I just love how my home came out with my fall decor this year. Um, but thank you so much for everyone that went over and supported that video because YouTube doesn't really push them out. But I'm just so thankful anytime any of you guys take the time to watch any of my content. Um, even if I eventually get a million subscribers one day, I will still just be so humbled and just so blind, blown away by all of your support and your kindness. So thank you so much for um, supporting those videos, even though I know YouTube didn't really push them out. And if you did miss it, that's probably because YouTube wasn't pushing it out. Um, and um, I would love for you to go show those videos some love. They're not my top performing ones, but I really had a lot of fun filming those and decorating my home and sharing that all with you. So thank you so much. And um, that's another big reason I decided to put a cleaning video up. I had to clean anyways, so I might as well pick up the camera and kind of get my algorithm back on track. I really am the type of person that likes to do a little bit of cleaning every single day. That way I don't get too overwhelmed. Um, I'm actually in the middle of doing a bunch of cleaning around my whole house. So those are videos coming up you guys don't want to miss. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. But we're really getting into it in my home and instead of moving we've been putting some elbow grease and just some good old sweat equity into our house and it's been really really paying off and I feel a difference in the home so if you guys need help getting motivated I am so happy to help you out with that I also wanted to add since I'm showing the couch in this clip um, my husband actually peeled all these cushions off and put them in the washer yesterday and we put them back on so the couch just feels so nice and clean and those are the type of things that i'm talking about because if you really think about it when is the last time you cleaned your couch whether it was with a carpet cleaner with the attachment or taking all the covers off and throwing them in the washer it's just a very overlooked thing in the home but can make such a difference and make your home smell nice and look nice so those are just the things that i'm sharing over on my channel a lot of this stuff that you don't do every day. We vacuum, we wipe stuff down, our counters do the dishes, but what is the things that we really, really aren't paying attention to? I love sharing that kind of content with you all. It never rains in California The sun is always shining bright People are smiling, making plans Hiding behind their shades And you're doing the same I am still putting fall touches in my home. So here in the entryway, since it's nice and clean, I'm gonna put a few small 
just everyday looking decor out like this blanket scarf and these hats. I do wear these hats, but I love bringing them out for fall and winter. I feel like it just cozies up the entryway and it's also practical and functional because I can just grab my hats and hang them up as I come in and out the door. And this blanket scarf just really adds that extra cozy element and same with these candles and I just swapped out this sign and all this stuff I owned already I did get a bunch of new stuff this year and I have a huge fall video again I will have that um, link down below where I do a huge haul um, of everything that I picked up this year it is massive but um, here's just a quick overview of this space on where it stands right now. I will be doing a home tour once I finally finish decorating and feel good about where everything lands. And this is another space that we're going to just be adding a little bit of a fall touch to. Everything that I'm putting out here I owned already, keeping it very, very affordable. It's so funny how everything kind of worked out this year. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with this um, sofa table here. I actually was just gonna kind of leave it until I decorated for Halloween, which you guys, I'm gonna be decorating for Halloween here in the next few days. So I'll have a lot more um, fun, festive content coming out. And that video is gonna be really, really fun. I'm actually collaborating with a group of girls and we're all gonna be doing Halloween inspired content and we're even gonna be telling a spooky story. Um, and all of our videos are gonna be fitting together. So you'll watch my video and I'll have a piece of the story and then you'll go to the next video and they'll be providing you with some fun Halloween treats, decorating, and then another piece of the story. So I'm so, so excited for that. I've never done anything like it. And I've actually never seen anyone do that on YouTube either. And I believe that's gonna go up on October 1st. So the Halloween and spooky decor is gonna be coming out. I'm a huge um, spooky fan, but even if that's not your thing, I find it very, very entertaining. And speaking of spooky, I love this podcast. It's called Radio Rental. And um, you can just listen to that on the Apple app um, podcast on your phone. And so I put that on as I was cleaning here upstairs. And it's a bunch of like real life people that call in and tell stories, um, things that have happened. Some, they're not all paranormal. A lot of it is like they walked in and someone was like in their house. I love that stuff. I love true crime, horror movies, all that. So now I'm rambling. I could talk about this forever, but just giving you guys a heads up on what's to come and also kind of what I'm doing behind the scenes. I'm listening to this podcast and it just kind of makes cleaning a little less tedious and a little bit more enjoyable. I know I have a lot of new viewers today, so I'll kind of explain where I am. This is upstairs in our loft area. It's kind of like a flex space that separates the bedrooms. On one side, you have our master bedroom. And then on the other side of the loft area, you have my two boys' rooms and kind of a little desk area at the top of the stairs and then their bathroom. And this is the kids' domain. That's how I keep my downstairs looking much cleaner than up here as you can see but they were um, sidetracked when I was up here they were watching a movie in the family room downstairs so I love to kind of sneak away and do these areas when they're not looking um, and I was able to fill a whole trash bag of things that could go I love to donate and then trash anything that's missing pieces or is broken and anything that's good I just take to the donation center but we're getting ready to entertain in my house actually today as you guys are watching this i'm having a huge family function here at my home and having i think like 30 people 
So I took the week and did a little bit each day and this loft was absolutely embarrassing and needed to be decluttered, picked up and just dusted and given a little refresh. My husband even off camera came in and peeled the couch uh, covers off of this and we washed those as well. Um, just to kind of freshen it up, the dog loves to clean up, clean? I wish my dog cleaned, um, but he loves to climb up here at night um, and sleep, even though he's not supposed to. So we just wanted to wash everything, get everything clean and stick around for the next few minutes because you kind of see our little Mr. Skellington here. The boys named him Ah, like yelling Ah. <laughs> so funny. But yeah, there's some funny clips of him while we're cleaning up here. So I hope you guys enjoy that. These shelves have been so nice since I added these in here um, maybe like six months ago or so. I needed a solution for all the boys Legos. I love that they come in here and build. They're not sitting on video games or on the TV. They will literally build Legos for hours at a time. And these shelves have been such a neat space. They even pull up a chair and build right here on the shelves. And then whatever they built, they just display right where they built it here. So it's actually worked out really, really nicely because I was kind of at a loss what to do with these. Um, and these shelves are just from Target. If I can remember, I will link them down below. They're super affordable. I think they were maybe a little over $100 each, but I love how they made this whole wall almost like an entertainment center. The fireplace, the electric fireplace you guys see here below the TV, we've actually had that for like almost 10 years and um, the TV came over from our old house. So we had that stuff already. So for just the cost of these shelves, it really filled in this wall really nicely and just gave the room a little bit of something, a feature wall, and then also is super functional and just works out so nicely in here. These bins, I have kind of like an uneven amount, so I kind of keep moving them around to kind of see what makes sense, which you guys will see me here do in a minute. But I think I'm gonna buy um, a few more of these woven basket bins that slide in here because I feel like they just look nicer. I mean, it kind of warms up the space a little bit with the gray walls and the gray couch. And so I kind of moved them around a few times and then eventually was just kind of like, oh well, I give up and just kind of left it as is and moved on. I know I have viewers from all over the world, so I wanted to ask you all, what is the weather like where you're at? I'm in Southern California and we just got through a really brutal heat wave. Um, I know some of my OG viewers have heard me sharing that and talking about it. It is over and behind us and the weather, it feels like fall in the air. It is foggy outside. 
Um, it's been actually nice out. I mean, it's been in the 80s, which I know is hot for some people, but after you get through a heat wave of triple digits and hitting 113, 80, 85 degrees just feels heavenly. And I can just see the outside transitioning to fall. Fall actually starts next week. I think it's the 22nd of September is the first day of fall. And I can see the leaves turning on the trees outside and it's getting darker earlier. The mornings are getting cooler. The evenings are cooling off. Um, it's just been such a nice change of pace around here. I feel like every day is just the same here. So to have fall and winter and just a change of season is always super duper exciting. So yeah, we've been in the 80s here and then in the 60s at night, it's been absolutely beautiful and I could not ask for better weather. We even did get a little bit of rain. If you guys don't follow me over on Instagram, I share so much more behind the scenes over there. I'll leave my handle here on the screen. Comment with an emoji, your favorite emoji, whatever it is down below, if your car or your couches look like mine. I feel like it's just inevitable when you have kids. I could come through here once a month and clean this couch and it would still look like this. I feel like it's just a part of mom life and that's okay because I know someday I'm going to actually miss the mess and the loud and the chaos. Um, so it's really not a big deal, but I love being able to relate to you all. Um, so let me know down below in the comments with your favorite emoji. If, if you were to lift up your cushions on your couch, would it look like this? Yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid Just follow me You don't need no space Just follow me Like a mirror you reflect me Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like the way where you reflect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end I know this is definitely a longer video today, but there was just so much to do around the house and there's still just so much more to be done. I'm actually double batching videos right now. So I'm finishing editing this one that you guys are watching. And then I filmed a after the fire clean with me yesterday. Um, we had some really bad fires around here and it left a lot of smoke and ash and mess. We are totally fine. We didn't get evacuated, but we were close enough to get a lot of the yuck. And so I'm doing a lot of deep cleaning. You guys do not want to miss that one. So that'll probably be my next video. And then um, I'm actually doing some more cleaning today because um, I'm, I'm doing this voiceover on a Thursday, but you guys are actually going to watch this on a Friday. But today, Thursday, I am doing a bunch of cleaning around the house for my company I was telling you guys about that is coming Friday, the day you guys are watching this. And so I'm also filming that. So 
I'm filming two videos at once, but they will be two different videos. And then I'm gonna dive right into Halloween content. So that's what's to come. Lots happening over here, but um, this is definitely a longer video than I usually put out, um, but it is just jam packed with a lot of motivation. So if you guys have light cleaning or deep cleaning or decluttering, organizing, today's video should definitely get you covered. With no parachute, you know I'm dreaming about us too. Playing around without a clue, on the air, screening out. With us, it's all or nothing. I know I shared what my upcoming few videos are going to be, but I just have so many ideas of things that I want to share. But of course, I do these videos for you. So if you have any requests that you would like to see on my channel, or maybe you're struggling with in your home and you can use the help or motivation, um, just comment below. And I love looking at requests. And sometimes you guys come up with some really, really good ideas. So I love hearing from you down below in the comments. I also wanted to ask if you guys would be interested in me doing a crock pot meals video, like maybe a full week of crock pot meals as we move into the cooler season. Um, so let me know if that's something you guys will enjoy. If not, I won't, you know, waste your time or anything like that and I won't make it. But um, I just have so many ideas. I have a whole list on my phone that is a mile long of videos that I want to watch. But of course, I want to make sure that it's stuff you will enjoy. So go ahead and drop any requests down below in the comments and I'll be happy to put that on a list to put in an upcoming video. When did we start losing and stop giving? I remember I gave it time, 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 all of my time, time, time. Now my mind, mind's lost in its thoughts. I want you, 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 one, only you, you, you. But my heart's all tied up in knots. Wanna release it, wanna release it. This clip reminded me I wanted to put this in my video and I just wanted to say thank you all for being so kind. The internet can be a really hard space sometimes, especially when you're a content creator. I feel like sometimes that's, you know, people that watch your videos aren't always the most kind, but I just feel so blessed because it is just like out of a million comments, I'll get one negative one and it really doesn't get to me to be honest with you, but just thank you for being so kind and just it's so easy to be kind you never know what other people are going through 
you guys see this suit hanging in the upper left corner of this clip and that suit is because we actually have to attend a funeral this weekend and actually ended up losing um, another friend and you guys just never know what people are going through and what people are struggling with so I just wanted to remind you all um, pay it forward be kind be patient I know it's so hard sometimes um, but I just wanted to put that out into the universe and I myself just try and do something kind for someone every single day and if somebody gets fresh if I get frustrated with somebody um, maybe while I'm out and about maybe while you're driving I always try and think you know what I don't know what those people in the car are going through or what their day looks like let's just practice some extra patience so um, I did have a friend whose wife passed away of cancer and then unfortunately my husband's grandpa passed away so you know there's just a lot of heaviness um, sometimes in the world not to like get you know down and um, heavy right now but I just wanted to remind I feel like we all sometimes need to just have a little reminder sometimes that life is short live every day to the fullest and just be nice This is my boys' bathroom just here on the other side of the loft I was telling you guys about earlier, right outside of their bedrooms. So no one else uses this bathroom. Um, we have the guest bedroom, guest bathroom downstairs and then obviously the bathroom in our master bedroom and then this one. So um, it can get full of toothpaste and just yucky because I do have the two boys. So it needs a mom clean in here. And that's what I'm working on. I started with the mirror and got that wiped down. And then we did the faucet and the sink and the countertops and now I'm just scrubbing out the toilet and then we're going to do the tub and shower as well a couple videos I shared the scrubber that I'm gonna be using and it is absolutely amazing you guys I've been using it all over my house I've used it in my oven in my tubs and my showers I purchased a couple of pool loungers from the Facebook marketplace and they needed a good cleaning I scrubbed the heck out of those and then I was even scrubbing my stained concrete yesterday when I was working outside in the yard. You guys will see that in an upcoming video, but I have just been loving this scrubber and I will link it down below for you guys. And I do have a discount code, so hopefully that still works. Um, but yeah, here's the scrubber here and I did do sponsor content with this a couple videos ago, but I really do use this. I didn't just do the sponsored video and then shove it in a corner. I use this thing any opportunity I possibly can. It's amazing. that's gonna do it for today's video thank you so much for hanging out today and don't forget to go check out April for more cleaning motivation if you guys need the extra drive to get things done around your home today me and April have got you guys covered if you guys are new here I would love if you could hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like today's video if you're a new or old subscriber it helps out my channel a ton and I'm so appreciative and again, just thank you so much for being here and I'll see you guys in a brand new video in just a few days. Bye friends.